Hey guys, in this video, we'll check out Oxygen OS on our Mi 11X. That's just device right here. This is also known as the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 in other regions. So in this video, we'll check out how to install this ROM, what all features does this ROM have, my experience using it, that is what all is good, what the bugs are, and there are quite a few bugs, and we'll look at some benchmarks. So let's start with the installation, how to install this ROM. Now, if you just click on the download link, there will be three files. The first one is the ROM file. Now, the ROM file is a .7z file, 7zip file. So you have to have a PC in order to flash this ROM. The second one will be a firmware, which is pretty important for this. And the third one will be the ENX camera. That's MIUI camera on this particular ROM. Now, how to install it? Let's just go to installation. It says flash EU stable. If you are using anything else, don't report any issues. So I had flash EU stable. If you don't know how to flash it, just install a custom recovery. I'll link, uh, link the ROM in the description below as well. Just go to recovery and flash it like you flash other ROMs. So there's that. Then it says flash firmware. That's the firmware which will be in the download. Flash that firmware. Then reboot to fastboot. Connect your phone to your PC. And then unzip that 7z file which you downloaded on your PC. After that, just run the install. Also, there are some FAQ notes that we have to see. Now it says invalid sparse file format at header. This error will be present and it will be present for like minute, two minutes, three minutes. If this comes, do not worry. It will eventually flash. So there's that. Uh, let's just go to download. We have seen download. There are bugs here. So we'll see the bugs later on. Anyways, let's just see the ROM. So this is the OnePlus launcher. Pretty cool launcher in my opinion. The basic app drawer. If I just pinch and just go to home, there are some options here like double tap lock, swipe down to access. Now, shelf was selected by default. So if by default, this is how it looked. I did not like it. I just went to home settings, swipe down to access, notification and quick settings because I like this. Speaking of notification, quick setting, this is how the OnePlus default notification shade looks. So anyways, let's just go to settings and see what this ROM has to offer because this is not an ASP ROM, this is a port. So everything will is a bit different. Also in the FAQ notes, uh, let's just go to Telegram again. In the FAQ notes, not this one. It says never update a port ROM from updater. So OT updates are there. Do not try to update your ROM using that particular OT update. That's all. Anyways, we are in settings. Wi-Fi is same, Bluetooth is same, display. Now going to display, adaptive brightness is buggy. Your screen will start flickering for no reason. And you should just turn this off. Also, if I just change the brightness, it takes two seconds for the brightness to adjust. If you see lines on the screen, that's because of the frame rate of the phone and the camera itself. Anyways, Sleep is same, advanced, screen calibration, there are three modes here, but none, none of them are working, so there's that. Resolution, they have two, because that's a port, only FHD works, QSC is just for sure. Refresh rate, 60 120, both work. Going back, front camera display area, this will not work because see, our camera is not here, our camera is at the center of the display, top center of the display, so that does not work. Going down, vibrance color effect, I have turned it on, it did not work. Then you have vision comfort, that's basically eye shield for Samsung or night shift for Google phones or USB devices. That works. Reading mode is grayscale, which works as well. Dark mode is cool because it's not dark, it's pitch black. And I love pitch black. Dark mode should be pitch black on AMOLED devices and dark, and dark gray on LCD devices. There's that. Ambient display, now this is cool. If I just do this, if I just turn off the phone, you see this, this is the ambient display. Just shows the time, the date, and the battery percentage. Anyways, okay. Double tap to wake the phone does not work. So that's the bug right here. Mm, okay, you can set all these options, horizon light, etc. Now, if a notification come, this works. So if a notification come, you can set horizon lights. 
Now this is similar to what MIUI has, but in MIUI, the notifications do not light up. So just that. Anyways, going back again, spawn size, display size, etc. These are the same things. Now we have customization. So wallpaper, accent color, you can change your wallpapers from here. I don't know why you have fingerprint animation because that's support. So there's that. Uh, accent color, you can change your accent color. I did not change it. I like it as it is. System icons, you can change the system icons correctly. It is at square, as you can see, that's square. Well, if I just change it round and save it, everything is round now. So you can do that too. Icon pack, this, sub, this launcher supports third party icons. So I have selected hydrogen, you, I can select oxygen. Let's select, let's say minima. I like this icon pack. And as you can see, my icons are changed. Let's just go in again and select hydrogen and save it. Flying. God, what's up? Okay. Now there's font styles. You have Roboto or OnePlus Sans. OnePlus Sans. Sans. I don't know. Son is a S A N S is a French word, but I don't know if it's a French word here too. Anyways, I selected that OnePlus Sans. 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 I like that font. Going back. You have sound and vibration. Everything works. Dolby Atmos does not work. The vibration motor is not tuned correctly because that's a port ROM. So vibration is a bit weak. It's a lot weak in my opinion. Everything else works. Going back, you have buttons and so the ROM lag, lagged right here. I don't know why. Buttons and gestures, alert slider. We do not have an alert slider. Navigation bar and gestures, you can do use that. I can hide the bottom bar. As you can see, my bottom bar is hidden now. I like the bottom bar where it is. Anyways, quick gestures, double tap to wake. That does not work. Music control, I haven't checked that. Three finger screenshot does not work. So quick gestures, to, okay. Three finger screenshot works. Going back again, apps and notification is the same. Security is the same. Privacy is the same. Location is the same. Battery. Now this is not great on battery. Idle rain is fine. It's not like two or three percent. I believe it was like four or five percent a night. So idle rain is fine. If you are looking for great battery on this, do not bother. This does not have great battery. And it heated a lot when gaming. I just entered PUBG, BGMI, and it started heating. The temperature was like 38 or 39 degrees. So it's not good for that. Utilities. Now work-life balance. So that's work mode. It works. Quick launch, this does not work because we do not have a in-display fingerprint scanner. Parallel apps, that's dual apps, works. App locker works. And OnePlus switch and OnePlus quick reply. I did not check it. System, now if you have to connect your OTG and see it in your file manager, you should enable this OTG storage. If you do not do that, you will not see that. System updates, just turn it off because you should not update this particular ROM from the update. So that was all about the phone. Also about phone. It says my phone is OnePlus 9R. So I got a OnePlus 9R for cheap. Pretty cool. So some bugs. Let's see. Let's just first go to the Telegram group and see what all bugs they have mentioned. So bugs, known bugs. Face unlock doesn't work. I did not check it. Partially broken OP, OP camera. That's OnePlus camera. And yes, it is not working as you can see. Black screen and it crashed. So I suggest you flash ANX camera. If you don't know how to flash Majisk, there will be a card right, right here. And a link of that will be in the description below. Just go ahead, see that how to flash Majisk. It's pretty straightforward. And then just go to modules and install that ANX camera module. The module will be in the downloads page. And ANX camera, not this one. ANX camera is pretty cool because all the MIUI features are available here anyway so that was one issue let's just go to the group again it says double tap to wake dt2w so double tap to wake is not working dolby atmos is not working and charging yes it charges slow it charges normally with 18 to 20 watts so there's that and it says 30, 33 watt charging is not working so there's that now there are some things that i noticed too like let's just power restart the device and i'll show you what the error is you see this the brightness automatically changed to the minimum i don't know why okay it says too many attempts fingerprint sensor disabled 
there were no attempts why did this happen i don't know why the second thing is if i just unlock the phone i got that error again that fingerprint sensor is disabled now sometimes there's one more issue that sometimes the fingerprint sensor does not work i keep on trying and it says my finger isn't recognized i don't know why the other thing is call screen so this has the default oneplus app but if i just dial something now it's working earlier it was not i did not get this call screen i don't know why i just got that my call is answered and i don't know why it crashed let's call again wow you see this lag but the great thing is i don't know why my call is not going through i believe the because volte is not enabled here i don't know why anyways you have that record option so you can record your calls as well now there is a bug in gaming so i played bgmi i was not able to finish a full match because it lagged like crazy there is no 90 fps option for that so there's that but after every 5 to 10 seconds the game would lag for a second it was very frustrating so there's that um also there's one more reason i did not play that game because after some time it just stuck it just hanged it crashed and then it went into a boot loop so there's that one more thing is it will say device is not certified if you just go to your play store settings and about it says device is not certified but my device is certified because if i just go to search netflix i can see netflix will be present here anyways all that's left are the benchmark numbers so let's just go to our gallery and screenshots so with geekbench i got a single core score of 952 and a multi core of 2929 with cpu throttle the graph is just fine it's not great the cpu throttle to 89% of its max performance with a max of 249 584 gps average of 232 113 gps and a minimum of of 189 184 gps with antu2 I, yeah with antu2 i got a score of 646361 i ran it again i got 648139 there you have it there were this is oxygen os on our mi 11x poco f3 or the redmi k40 in my opinion you should not flash this this is not worth it there are a lot of roms personally i recommend pixel os any of the variants of pixel os because that's the most stable thing that i've seen all the features work so that's been it that's os on me 11x poco f3 or the redmi k40 if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button look something like this comment for any queries regarding this rom regarding any other rom if you want me to try any other rom let me know in the comments as well and since you're commenting hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos that i post that's it for this video thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you in the next one